Hello and welcome to Thursday's edition of Ball State Sports LinkedIn. I'm Pat Boylan. If the Ball State Cardinal football team even wants a chance at going bowling this year, its losing ways can be no more. Next on the docket, the Kent State Golden Flashes. The Golden Flashes are 3-4 and four overall and 2-2 two and two in MAC play, and according to Coach Parrish, simply moving the ball will be the toughest obstacle for BSU. They have the number one defense in the conference. You know, they played Boston College and Penn State, neither of which moved the ball very well against. They didn't have a good game at Toledo. Uh, they had a bad second half at Toledo and let that game get away. From almost worst to first, that's what the women's volleyball team is looking to achieve this weekend. The Cardinals face the 9-1 Northern Illinois Huskies on Friday, then the 8-2 Western Michigan Broncos on Saturday, both in Worthen Arena. If the Cardinals can sweep, they will be in the driver's seat for first place, heading into the MAC tournament. The women's soccer season is coming to a slow end. On Thursday, the team will host Toledo for the season finale, where six seniors will bid adieu to the Ball State soccer program. The season started off strong for the soccer team, opening the year up at 6-2. However, the team is winless in the MAC with ties to Bowling Green and Buffalo. The women's soccer team isn't the only sports season coming to an end this weekend. The field hockey's year will come to an end as well on Senior Day this Sunday at 1 p.m. The 4-12 Central Michigan Chippewas come to town riding a three-game losing streak. Head out to the Ball State Field Hockey Stadium to help send off the six Ball State seniors. With the men's basketball season just around the corner, Ball State Sports Link will release a player profile every day leading up into the season. Get an up and close look at the players on this year's men's basketball team with 12 players in 12 days. Well, that'll wrap up this week's episode of Ball State Sports LinkedIn. Head on over to BSUSportsLink.com to catch all of SportsLink's work. We'd also like to thank our partners at First Merchants Bank. For the rest of the SportsLink family, I'm Pat Boylan. Thanks for watching.